You're listening to the question and answer program with our Bible teacher, Dr. J. Vernon McGee. This is a ministry of the Through the Bible Radio Network. We begin our program with a question from a listener in Florida who writes, I recently came across an unusual group that doesn't believe in church buildings. They believe that God's people should only meet in homes as the New Testament church did. They seem to have no minister or even any formal organization. I indicated that the New Testament believers could not meet in churches because they were not allowed to build them. Is this some form of a cult or growing movement? Well, first of all, let me say that there is springing up all over this country today little groups. Some of them can be called cults. Others of them haven't quite reached that stage, but they're certainly pointed in that direction. And they come up with all sorts of things, none of them with anything that's especially new, but they try to reestablish certain practices that were actually in the Old Testament. Fasting, for instance, and yet in the Old Testament, God never commanded his people to fast. He commanded them to feast. Gave them seven feast days, not seven fast days. But these people, they major in fasting. A great many of them major in diet. And then they also have some very unusual rules. Some of them here in California, headed up by some young man that doesn't know too much about the Bible, but he holds a sway over the people that will come under him by actually threats. He pronounces the judgment of God on anybody that will oppose him and that type of thing, and it actually frightens some people. The early church, it's true, did not meet in any building. Rome was quite broad-minded at first. They told Christians they could put an idol in the Pantheon. The Pantheon in Rome had little niches all around, and it was places for every religion in the entire Roman Empire. They could all put their little gods in there. It was sort of a world council of churches in embryo in those days, And Rome showed they were very broad-minded that any religion could be that way. But Christianity was something a little different. They didn't need a niche for an idol, and they were not willing to take a pinch of incense and place it before Caesar's image or statue of him, and they said they worshipped only the Lord Jesus Christ. And they got in trouble with the Roman Empire because of that, and the period of martyrdom came to the church. So that these little groups today, they don't want to meet in buildings because the early church didn't. I think the real reason that they didn't have buildings, they didn't have money enough to build them. I'm of the opinion that at first the Roman Empire would not have prevented it. They would have later on, but the early church was made up of very poor people, by the way. They didn't circulate in Roman society. You remember Paul makes the statement that to the Corinthians that there were not many mighty, not many great people of the world. And it's been that way ever since. The complexion of the early church was so different as it is today and that the early church could not afford to put up buildings. Later on, they were not, of course, permitted to put up buildings, and they were persecuted. But the building actually is not the important thing at all. We today say that certain church is down on the next corner. Well, the church is not down on the next corner. There's a building down there where the church meets, the church or people, and that was the important thing. So that circumstances had a lot to do with the early church meeting as it did. Today, the church can build a big building on most any corner. However, getting into neighborhoods today is becoming extremely difficult. And it's the way to go without having to spend a lot of money on a building program and to meet in homes and these Bible classes is fine. But so many of them turn out as several that I know of right here in Southern California, they became a regular cult and certainly got very far 
from the Word of God, and yet they were teaching it all the time. You see, a great deal of Bible teaching today is really just spiritualizing Scripture. It's not really digging down and getting at the meaning that is there. So that these groups that take these unusual positions, I think that it's well to keep your eye on them because certainly we do not believe it's God's method today. And very few of them are interested in missions. They are not interested in missions. They like to make converts out of churches. They like to try to steer good people astray, and they are successful in that area also. I think that's about all I should say about them. I think they're growing, too, by leaps and bounds.